Welcome to Springs in Preparation. So I haven't seen you for about three years. We met at a, a midwifery uh, talk that I did and um, you said something very interesting to me the other night when I met you again. Um, do you want to just tell the people what you said? Well I said to you, uh, I don't know if you remember me, but you got me pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> you right, yeah. didn't come out quite right. <laughs> hope your husband's not listening to this. <laughs> so do you want to just explain a little? Um, well, I had been um, trying, uh, we've been trying for children for about 10 years. We'd had five cycles of IVF. And I came to see you for an unrelated thing. I came to see you as an osteopath because I'd injured my shoulder and we got talking and you said about pregnancy and preparation and preparing the soil and I thought, that sounds really interesting. Because um, the thing that always puzzled me was that that I felt was really unfair, was that I've always been really healthy and I've always looked after myself reasonably well, I thought, and it just seemed just unfair. <laughs> um, but I thought, well, maybe I need to approach this from a different, a different way. And um, so I went to the talk and it, it, it certainly highlighted for me a couple of the things that I thought maybe there are some areas of my life I need to think about changing on. And, and I began to do a couple of the things, you talked about lots of things in terms of, I remember the, the name of the talk which was preparing the soil, which was an important, an important metaphor for me. Um, and um, it was really around thinking, well, am I really preparing my body as well as I can for the upcoming and I think I was going to go through um, we were going through egg adoption and I was going to go through another cycle my last go so I thought well I, I need to think about preparing the soil and so I went off and some of the things I did was I stopped all aspartame products diet products that I not that I had many but I did take sweetener in my drinks I did buy diet things at work, so a Diet Coke occasionally, or chewing gum with aspartame, and I began to realise that in my effort to, to stay healthy and be, and not get fat, I was actually thinking about, you know, what was I putting into my body really, that may not have been the best. So that, I, I remember that was one of the major lifestyle things that impacted both of us went out and bought a juicer, a rubber juicer, and I started juicing in most mornings, apple, ginger, and carrot. That's what I did. Brilliant. I bought a water filter and I filtered water. We were drinking bottled water at the time and I just thought, mm, no, this doesn't, you know, when, when I thought about the things that I did what there were, that needed lots of quantity, so it wasn't just the, the one cup of coffee, which I didn't stop, but I only drink one or two. And then it was only one. But it was about things that I did all day, like water, like other things that I added into my diet all day. And I changed this thing about the acidity of this. Uh, you talked about acidity, and um, especially in the mornings, and about thinking about, and I'm thinking about the foods and non foods. So for me, it was those kind of things that, that stuck with me about foods and non foods. and in my effort to be healthy, what I thought was healthy actually, I was maybe I needed to think about my health in a different way. So, um, so I did that and um, I think I came to see you around the Christmas time and um, I, no, January time, January time, February. And I started all these changes probably in February, March, or even, you know, I can't remember, it's, you know, pretty, I can't remember when the talk was exactly, I think it was spring, and then um, I missed a period, and because I'd had so many cycles of IVF, and I was getting older, I was 42, and I just thought, oh, well, you know, I've started. Maybe the menopause and maybe all these chemicals that have been put into my body all these years right. have 
really um, done something to my to my fertility full stop. So um, so we were going away, and and I said to Mike, look, you know, that's odd, you know. And he said, well, just in case, do a pregnancy test, just in case. And I said, all right, just to rule out pregnancy, you know, just to rule it out, not thinking it for at all that we would be pregnant because we were booked in, I think, uh, to go to Barcelona a month later. We were booked into a clinic to go on a doctor night there. Um, and, um, and, he, and so we were going away for the weekend. I was rushing through, as per usual, through Euston Station. And I just picked up a pregnancy kit from Boots. I was going up to, to the Hague on Y Festival with some friends. And I picked up, the, and I got on the train, and I went to the toilet, and it was a virgin train. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I did a pregnancy test, and it was one of those digitals that it's not a cross, and you have to think about it, it just says pregnant in digital letters, it just said pregnant. And I just looked at this, and I said, I can't be, I just kind of, you know, I kept looking at the box, <laughs> it's just pregnant, pregnant, you're pregnant. And it was quite unbelievable. Around my husband, and he nearly crashed the car because it was on his way to me. <laughs> Fantastic. And uh, we, um, yeah, did several pregnancy tests, and that was it. And now your little boy is how old? He's two and a half. He's two and a half. Just a little older than my one, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so yes, I mean it was, uh, you know, it was pretty significant, and I, you know, that that stuck with me. Um, and it was, I did feel better. I, I know that I felt better from doing all those dietary things. And I did think I prepared my body as well as I could have done. Um, and I was lucky it worked, really. Well, I'm not sure luck. <laughs> you know, you change things. And, and when yes. things are not working, we have to change things. Yes. And, yes. you know, that conversation about preparing the soil, when you clean up the soil, things grow. And, you know, I found this as a practitioner over the years, so listen, congratulations, I'm just brilliant. That uh, I'm so happy that you've got your little boy now and everything worked out. Brilliant. Thank you.